yes, we can hear you. Alright, um, my name is Tracy. Um, I'm in the ILTS group. Jay put my name as listening experts. I'm not yet an expert, so I'm Elena. Um, I, I, <laughs> I just finished my exam, and that was my first attempt, and I got my and desired. I got I got my desired band score. I got an 8.5 in listening, seven in writing, 7.5, and, and also in other modules. So um, firstly, I would say, yeah, it was God that made me go to get those desired scores. Then secondly, my efforts, I started with let me start with my listening. I watched J videos on listening to get listening tips. Then secondly, first thing about listening, please if I'm too fast, kindly um, you can just stop me. So I started with watching Jay's video on listening. I downloaded ILTS preparation app, listening app. I started um, doing the listening practice on the app. The main thing about listening is like the easiest module in IELTS. The main thing about listening is concentration. When you are doing your listening test, you should not even pay attention to your phone. You should not be distracted. The minute you are distracted, the minute your mind wanders to somewhere else, the minute you start thinking of something else, at that moment, you are bound to, you are bound to fail whatever you are doing. I remember in the example, I was distracted for a second and I could not get that particular question. So it's that bad. When you are doing listening tests, just try to be 100% concentrated on what you are doing. You should not receive a call. You should not even turn your eyes from your answer sheet or your question paper. Pay full attention to it. Then third thing about listening, the third tip about listening is read the instructions. Read the instructions very well. If they say not more than one word, not more than one word, don't bother writing two words. And if we have something like overfishing, for example, and they say not more than one word, know that there's supposed to be an hyphen in between to make it one word. If there is no hyphen in between and you, the answer you get is overfishing and you write it like that, it's already two words. So please let's pay attention to the to the whatever, like I said, to the instructions before starting the writing, the listening test. Then another thing about listening is and the fourth thing about listening is that when you are practicing your listening, please, Come please, Come open the door. when you are practicing your listening, please use the Cambridge listening practice. That's exactly what you get in the exam. Cambridge listening. That's exactly what you get. Cambridge listening. Practice with, okay, so when I was preparing for my exam, I finished all the Cambridge. I finished Cambridge 1 to 15. From here. I, I did. What time did she send you to buy the date? Please, can you mute all your mics? Please, I took almost one hour to buy Sorry. Hello. Yeah, we are hearing. Please speak. 
Okay, so I practiced with IELTS online. IELTS online is quite difficult compared to the Cambridge. But I advise you practice with Cambridge listening because it has the same format with what comes out in the examination. That's that, that's for listening. Any question on listening before we move to reading? There is an app you mentioned at the beginning. May you mention it? I can't hear you, please. Can you please repeat your question? There is an app you mentioned that helps. There's an app I mentioned that helps yeah. me. She wants to know the name. Yeah, I watch J videos on YouTube. Then there's a channel J here added me to that's um, our IELTS tutorial videos. J can J please can you share that with them after the class okay. again for those that don't okay, okay sure. so I watch videos on that channels also. Then I practiced with in, initially I was practicing with IELTS online. Then I stopped and started attending to Cambridge questions, Cambridge reading. For those that are writing general, you have Cambridge, Cambridge listening, sorry. They are both the same for general and academics. So practice with Cambridge when you are doing your listening. And please concentrate. That's the first thing for listening. Once you don't concentrate, you end up missing everything. Concentration and instruction. For every section, please go through the instruction. For multiple choice where you have option A, B, C, D, I know people will have issues with that. When you are listening to that, when you are starting the multiple choice recording, look at the question. Let your mind be in the recording and your, your eyes are on the questions. Do you understand? You start by reading the questions, then be going through the options. You will definitely hear what they said in the option. The mistake we make is we try to listen to the recording first before looking at the options. And before you get to that, they move forward to the next question. So while listening to the recording, please read your questions and the options while listening to the recording. That would help you a lot. Can we go to reading now? Any question on listening? Feel free to ask. Well, I, I, I was disturbing people anyhow. They know me. I was going to people to go and be begging everybody. Please help me. Oh, my exam is here. Hi, Tracy. Um, I want to ask Hi. if you have any tips for maps, listening maps. Okay, so like I said, listening is attention. The map, when you are doing your listening map, once the listening starts, when the listening starts, you look at the map. You are free to use your pen on your answer sheets on that day, on your question paper, sorry, on that day. You can even circle where the man is starting from. You know, they usually start with, we are at the right corner of the building or we are at the middle of the building or we are at first point. You know, they usually start with that. You can as well circle that place where they are. Then you see that map they put up where they write north, east, west, and south. Please always look at that before you start because that will help you. If you use the Cambridge listening, they will always say at the west, south corner or at the east, south corner, or towards the north, they would always give reference to that map. Well, Maybe you should try something on map and you can, you can I swear do an example on map, but when you are doing map, just pay attention and do what they say. Listen to the notes, as in what, they start some, with something like we are standing at the middle 
of the building where we have the west wing then if you move to your right or your left that's how they describe the map so it's, it all falls down to concentration if you are distracted you end up making mistakes on your listening if you're having issues with map you can just look for listening question that has just map and be doing that for like okay so my schedule what i usually do is in the day i make sure i do two listening two reading and one writing i was scared of writing though but i made i made sure i watched the video as regards writing in a day any other question please Any other question? Hello, if I should say something now, am I talking to myself? Why here with you? Just go on. There's a question, please. Should I move to reading? Yeah, we can. Okay, yes, so for the reading, like I always say, start by watching J reading videos. Watch all the reading tips, multiple choice, heading, multiple choice, heading, everything on listening. Watch it first. On reading, sorry. Watch it. Watch J videos on reading. Then secondly, time yourself. Especially for those writing academics. Time yourself. Not because nobody is looking at you. How you will now start saying, eh, I, I, there's still time. Let me just give myself extra five minutes to get the right answer. If you time yourself and you could not finish before the at the end of the time, leave it like that. Do another one. Just keep timing yourself. So you, you won't get to a situation where you have, you've answered all the questions, but on the exam day, you say the time is too short. You can give yourself one hour. That's the normal time, one hour. As time goes on, you can keep re reducing your time to 50 minutes or 40 minutes. Just keep timing yourself. That is what you need for reading. Then, what heading of paragraph reading, I know I can still remember some. Always read the paragraph first before looking at the heading. Read the paragraph, then go back to the question and get the heading. Are you getting me? If you read the heading first, you will now have to read all the paragraphs. And that's where you have an issue. Always read your paragraph first. When you are reading a paragraph, you should be able to think of what they are talking about in that paragraph. So you already have a picture of what is in that paragraph on your head. When you go back to the quest, to the summary to look for the heading, you will definitely see something related to what is on your head. That's just the simplest way for paragraph heading. Do you understand? Then, uh, which other one? Please remind me. Oh, there's completion. Completion. So for completion, read the question. You read. You know completion. They will start writing. It's like filling the gap now, right? They will start writing. Then leave a space. Then you are going to feel something in the box inside that space, isn't it? Yes. Now, read the question first. When you read the question, you already have an idea of what you should be looking for in the passage. Because for completion, they usually use something that you know, if you put this thing, it's not right. Do you understand? So read the question first. Go back to the um, passage and start reading. While reading the passage, you, you can skim through to the first, 
you know for completion they can they, they might not start from the first paragraph of the passage they might start from the third paragraph or fourth paragraph so you can as well start by reading that's why i say read the question first then skim the passage to that particular place where the question begins then you start reading look for keywords look for keywords in the question no. on the passage I think we'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is, but don't the, forget please and please don't forget to time yourself can you repeat that please thank you i said read the question first then go look for the answer in the passage for every okay. question you get in your reading Always read the question first before going to your passage because there is no time to read through the passage before answering the question. So once you get your reading question paper, go straight to the question first before the passage. Any question, please? Yeah, I, I tip on uh, optional questions where well, we have a big... Hello. Hello. Yeah, I can't hear you. Yeah, I, I'm requesting to also give us some tips on uh, optional questions. Well, we have option A, B, C. Ah, multiple choice question type. Okay, where you have option A, that's multiple choice question. Yeah. Okay, for multiple choice question, like I said, always read the question first. When you read the question, you go back to the passage. For multiple choice question, you can as well read the question and read the four options, skim through the four options to have an idea of what are in the options. So you can as well read the question. Because you already skimmed through the question, when you are reading the passage, you should definitely see an answer in the four um, options that are on the question that, that was given to you in your question paper. You definitely see an so So you will see answers that are related. Please. What is that? Read very well. Remove this so you will see answers that are related. Please read very well. So you will end up taking the wrong answer. Because reading is very complicated. It's very complicated also. And concentration too is another thing when it comes to reading. Because any little distraction, you end up doing the wrong thing. Any other question, please? Okay, somebody asked a question. Let me see. She said, did you print out the passage to hard copies before answering? Uh, sometimes I do that because I register the paper base. So I prefer hard copy. So if you can print out your question, I would prefer you even do, you print out on hard copy because when you're using a system, scrolling up and down is going to waste your time. When you're using a phone also, going up and down, it will waste your time. So use a paper. When you're using a paper, you can circle your answers. Like you've seen a word in the passage, you can easily circle that and go back to it. So I would advise if you can print out the question, you should do that when practicing. That will help you very well. And I'll advise a paper-based test. Because when it comes to computer base for your listening, a little error can make you lose that mark. But once it's paper based, they might not have issues with your gap or capital letter or small letter or something that much. But when it's computer based, once you are supposed to write 2 a.m. and there is no gap between a and m, you failed it. But paper based, they won't even pay attention to that. So that's it. Any other question, please? Somebody say. 
What is your advice for someone who has just a month to prepare? The thing is not how far, it's how well. You can prepare for three weeks. Intense preparation. How serious are you? I remember when I was preparing for my exam. Um, Akni Neye is not here. I was always disturbing him. Like, I need this, I need that, I need that. Like, it's how, it depends on how prepared you want to be. You can prepare for one month. You can prepare for three months. Some can prepare for four months and still not make the papers. Some can prepare for one month and make it. It's not about how long you prepare. It's how serious you are about your preparation. I usually sleep 12 one then because I was always doing one practice test or something. It got to a stage I stopped doing listening and reading. I was focusing more on writing because that was my big, biggest challenge. So there's no fixed time for that. It just depends on you. How long do you think you can prepare very well? So for, for reading, my reading, I did score very high. I scored 7.5. I was looking for eight, but God knows best. 7.5 is 36 over 40. Now, wow, four marks. Okay. So for someone that asks, I've answered your question. Where can you get good reading question? Cambridge. Study reading with Cambridge. Cambridge can be discouraging because it's much, but that is still the best. The reading questions is just exactly Cambridge because Cambridge, they are part of IELTS, um, IELTS examination, examination body. Yes, they prepare the exam and everything. So Cambridge is still the best option. Jay will say, add you people to a Cambridge group, I think. There is a group that I was added to. It has all the Cambridge material, Cambridge 1 to 15. I finished it though before my exam. So if you can do that. And it got to a stage I was getting 39 over 40, 38 over 40 in my reading. So I was overconfident only to finish the exam. I got 36 over 40. But it's all good. It's my is what I was looking for. I needed it so. Where can we get the materials? Like I said, Jay will send the link. Jay, please send them the link. Oh. What link again? The IELTS Cambridge group. Okay. Okay. So Jay will send you the link. You can dedicate every day. In a day, you can just say, okay, today I'm doing Cambridge 1, test 1 and 2, reading and listening and writing. Cambridge 2, test 1 and 2, reading and listening and writing. Just give yourself every day. Like I said, every day I was doing two reading, two listening, one writing. Ah, that writing, I was scared of writing, Sha. So... I was always watching a video. Okay. Then I started okay. attempting how to write little by little. Then I started writing essays and post on the group for them to vet. Laura Lily was a very big support to my writing. Nina Ye was a very big support to my writing. <laughs> and Ella was very big support to my writing. So. That was it. So what next? Speaking. Speaking is just like an interview. Let me not deceive you. Just be yourself when you are speaking. The way I'm talking now, that was what I did that day. I didn't go there to start, ah, you know, you know when you do this, you do mm -mm. it was a fellow Nigerian that sat down there with me. She asked me questions. I just spoke to her normal. I spoke to, I'll get to write in NK. I spoke to her normal. I didn't really make it very serious. I didn't go there to start being, doing phonet, doing all these phonetics, no. I just went there and I was myself. She asked me about fishing. I told her where I came from in Delta State. 
the fish a lot. I just gave her my best and I went out and I said, God, I have done my part. It's up to you to do the rest. But please, just make sure you are not mixing your past tense with your present tense. You are not using is for are. You are not, you know, the, the normal basic English language rules. Good. And that was it. Listen, you can even lie. Just be like, you, if, if they say, where yeah, have you met a friend? What, if me, I, I lied though. I say I met my friend that I've not met for 10 years on Instagram. We met, we went for shopping, went to the beach. We did not go anywhere. I didn't meet any friend after 10 years. It's just the scope. Let's just do the exam and get off that place. So <clears throat> that was it. So writing, that's the cocoa. That's everybody's fear. <laughs> Writing, most people's fear. Okay, so for writing, I made sure I watch J videos on writing. The, the, the first thing about writing is structure. IELTS essay is different from normal school essay. And the mistake people make, some people make is, I'm a good writer in school, so writing it should not be an issue. Please oh, practice your writing. Make sure you know your structure, even if you don't want to attempt writing, but please know your structure offhand. Now, for advantage, disadvantage, you are starting with the introduction. Second paragraph, first paragraph is your advantage. Second paragraph is your disadvantage. Third paragraph is your conclusion. They have advantage, disadvantage, which of this, does this outweigh the this, right? There are some that will say, does this, does the advantage outweigh the disadvantage? Now, your beginning is your introduction, first paragraph. Second paragraph is your, second paragraph is your whatever, your advantage or your disadvantage. Third paragraph is your advantage or your disadvantage. Then your last paragraph can be something like, you start your conclusion with, after seeing this, I think my advantage outweighs disadvantage or disadvantage outweighs advantage or something. Do you get? But please let us know the structure. Watch J structure on writing. For agree, disagree. I use the counterclaim. So the counterclaim structure is not really popular. But somebody taught me, I think I will send, I don't know if I still have, I don't have that lecture notes anymore. Okay, I have the step for counterclaim, sentence by sentence. Your first paragraph, when you are agreeing to something, your first paragraph, you state the reason why you agree. Now after your introduction, paragraph one, the reason why you agree, that's your body paragraph one. Body paragraph two, the reason why you are disagreeing. Then the reason why, we are, why you are disagreeing. Then the conclusion, the reason why you are disagreeing. Body, body paragraph one, sorry, why you are agreeing. Body paragraph two, that's when you start talking about your counterclaim. Like this is why, I, this is why other people disagree. You state why they disagree. Then you state their reasons for disagreeing. Then I'll post it on the group. There's no time for that. I'll just post the sentence, the agree, disagree, essay structure on the group. So I think the Zoom video is coming to an end anytime soon. We have five minutes left for the class. Yeah. So please, let's just study very hard. Time yourself, like I said, two reading, two listening, one writing every day. You will see improvement and be determined to do it. I got to a stage I was fed up. I was tired. But please, you can do it. You can do it. Please look at my screen so you can see her performance of IELTS. This is her score. Very beautiful. Congratulations, sister. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I tap into those blessings. <laughs> Amen. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. 
this is Congrats, why we are in the group so we have to prepare ourselves do not panic and do not stop every day every minute think about ielts ielts is not a game to play you have to be serious about that so people are getting uh, eight by uh, eight band score in a month without preparation because they know english very perfectly you know uh, they are nearly native speaker and their level is nearly you know c2 level so th that means it's 8.5 or 8 in ions so they don't have any problem in language so th what they need to do is to know about the ions format test so if your english is not good enough before starting ions please improve your english general english so that would be beneficial before starting it so have, hope you enjoy the lecture from our admin in ions preparation group named tracy ma <laughs> Uh, yeah. Namaste. No, I'm not Indian, please. I'm not Indian. Oh my God. I'm just saying it. I have Indians in the group now, Shay. Oh, oh they've left. Okay. 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 I'm not Indian. Pamela, she's Indian. Oh, really? Thank you All for right, joining. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Have a good day. Uh, you know, greetings from Asia to Nigeria. I know, I know, please. We'll be waiting for the link for the Cambridge material, please. Oh, I will, I will send it to the group. Okay. 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 No problem. Have a good day, dears. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Thank sir. you. Bye bye.